Welcome back to another episode of Who The Fuck. It's the show that aims to take a deep dive into some of the acts announced for Reading and Leeds 2019. In today's video, we're looking at Jaguar Skills. He is a multi-genre DJ from the UK, specifically, oh, actually, I don't know where from. If you've never heard of him before, hopefully this video will help answer the question, who the fuck is Jaguar Skills? His name, hometown and backstory is shrouded in mystery, partly down to the fact that he wears a ninja mask when he performs. Why you ask? Because he's a f***ing ninja. Well I'm a f***ing ninja man, that's why I wear, wear a mask man. That's what it is. <laughs> I don't need to explain it. He's a multi-genre DJ, dancing around a plethora of genres, styles and sounds, including hip-hop, drum and bass, house, dubstep, disco, funk, anything with a beat, and even sometimes one without. His mixing style is really fast, it's described as cut and paste. It reminds me more of those five minute mini mixes you get on Animax Friday Night Show, but if they were 60 minutes long. Jaguar Skills story starts as a child. His father was a radio DJ, and there was always vinyl records in the house. And while he mentions his father not being into music, and more into politics. He mentioned that his dad collected vinyl, just like a collector collects things. Something that's somewhat of a throwback to my childhood. Yes, dad, I'm talking about you. The difference being my father is interested in both music and politics, even if we don't always agree on the latter. And sometimes the former. Rarely, but, but sometimes. He stumbled across DJing when he was at a house party where a friend of his was DJing and saw all, all the people at the party lose their minds to some of the songs he was playing. His friend was playing a record that he knew he had a remix of at home and mentions thinking, watching his friend DJing and thinking, I could do that. He started his career DJing in East London at the arts bar Dream Bag Jaguar Shoes, based in Shoreditch. He talks about how he used to play from 7pm till 3am and at the earlier times, kind of like 7 till 10 when it's kind of quiet, you don't want to play those bangers. So he started, he used to find the most obscure versions of theme tunes that he could from TV and film soundtracks. He gained more and more traction as he played in different venues across London when he caught the attention of Jade Jagger, daughter of Sir Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones, who invited him to become a resident at her Jezebel parties in Ibiza, Russia and Hong Kong. He got his big break as a producer when making the beat for We Love You by US rapper Lupe Fiasco. <laughs> That's what they say to me, and I entertain it quite playfully. But serious though, I'm curious, Joe. Killing cats with the flow type gracefully. Following this, he released a mixtape, 1979 to 2006, a hip hop odyssey, 800 tracks in 45 minutes. This is an OG mixtape, rather than one of those current ones where it's just a, basically an album, but not as good. It's a mixtape, it's a mix of songs on a tape. I guess this today you would just call it a playlist. It was 800 hip hop tracks, played in chronological order over 45 Five minutes. This was played twice in a row on Mr. Jam's show, and Radio 1 presenter at the time, Colin Murray, split it up into 10 parts and played it over 10 weeks. Following this, he gained a weekly 10 minute mashup mix on Trevor Nelson's Radio 1 Saturday night show, playing a plethora of music in a cut and paste fashion. Usually, it had a theme behind it, something that was very ahead of the curb at the time. In 2011 he released his first major compilation on Tool Room Records, the Tool Room Nights mixed by Jaguar Skills. He also released two compilations on Ministry of Sound, the Jaguar Skills and his Amazing Friends Volumes 1 and 2. In 2013 he introduced a new live show which included graphics and large stage props which he would take to a plethora of festivals around the world. In 2014 he worked with US record label Nervous Records on their back catalogue compilation featuring 65 tracks, remixes and acapellas. Skills reconstructed this and remixed every track from the original Nervous Tapes. This led to Def Jam Records asking Jaguar Skills to mix their entire catalogue, resulting in 30 years of Def Jam. And in 2014 he would work with Ram Records producer Chords on the track Lust.
which was released on ADC's Ram Record. The track premiered on Mr. Jam's show in October, in which he also put together a 60 minute Ram Records mix using only songs from Andy C's record label, linking us full circle back to Andy C. And in 2014, he would go on tour with The Prodigy, which would end up in him remixing their song, Roadblocks. His most popular record is his and Vato Gonzalez's remix of Diplo and DJ Fretch's Earthquake, featuring Dominic Young. Currently sat on 554,000 views, but his record Reload, featuring Millie Major, Temper T, Big Nasty, and Example. Is currently sat on 297,000 views. This is his third time playing Reading and Leeds. The first time was in 2012 when he took to the dance stage, sharing the lineup with Metronomy, Katie B, Azealia Banks, Mode Step, Feed Me, Grimes, Clement Martha in the front line, I bet you forgot about them, and DJ Zinc. The second time was in 2017 when again he took to the dance stage, sharing a stage with Sigrid, Alma, Becky Hill, Delta Heavy, Jax Jones, Goldie, High Contrast, Noisia, and Andy C. This year he's back again on the dance stage for a third time, currently in between Crewcast and Georgia. Watch this space for the WTF Georgia video. The fact is, if you want to see a DJ, and I mean a real turntablist DJ, someone that takes playing other people's music and turns it into an art form, rather than someone dressed in all black with a gold chain, playing a 4-4 beat, putting their hands in the air, pretending that the Jesus part in the Red Sea, then you absolutely need to check his set out. Currently, it looks like he isn't clashing with anyone, potentially AJ Tracy, but it's worth noting that the rest of the dance stage on, across the whole weekend needs bulking out. There's a video about this coming out soon, don't worry. So this slot could change, but if he's not clashing with anyone, then you can guarantee I will be going to check his set out. And definitely, I'll be dragging my little brother along to uh, for a little bit of an education, shall we say. And because of that, I'm going with an eight out of 10. What do you think? Is Jaguar Skills someone that you've seen before? Are you going to see his set at this year's festival? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comment section below as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.